When traveling abroad and getting money out of an ATM in a foreign country, you always want to decline or choose without conversion. But the story is more complicated, so you should stick around the video because it's also more fun. We're the Honest Guides making videos to help you on your travels. And we're based here in Prague, a city of 100 spires and also a city of thousands of ATMs that are ready to trick you and get more money than you will think out of your pockets. Even though we're in Europe, we do not use Euro currency in Czech Republic. We use Czech crowns. So if you want to pay, you have to have Czech crowns. Now, let me hold it there. You can actually pay with your card at most of the places. But if you do want to get cash out of an ATM, you need to follow a certain rule. Our main focus will be on these ATMs that are not only everywhere in Prague, but also everywhere around Europe in all the touristy destinations. And they have two tricks to trick you and your foreign card. Let me show you. The first trick that this ATM will try to play on you is it will try to make you withdraw as much money as possible. In this case, between 10 and 20,000 Czech crowns, which is starting from 400 up to 800 euros. And you don't need that ridiculous amount of money in cash on you in Prague. You can select other amount and will get a bit lower. But still, the amounts are still pretty high. But okay, let's go with 3,000 Czech crowns to withdraw, which is about 120 euros. And here's the second dirty trick this ATM will try to play on you. And it's asking you if you want it with or without conversion. So you have the choice, declining conversion or accepting it. Now the right side of the screen may look better for you because there's the flag of your home currency. In my case, it's British pound, so there's the flag. It also says accept conversion. And logically, you wanna hit accept when you're getting money out of an ATM. It's logical. Uh, but no, if I would click this button, accept instead of decline, I would lose immediately 12.86% of my money because that's the markup on the exchange rate that is currently issued by the European Central Bank. And thanks to the European Union, they now have to state it on the ATMs. When we were making this video a couple years ago, it didn't have to say it, but now it does say there, even though it's in small letters, it is there. And on top of that, this ATM will charge you 99 crowns, which is around four euros, just for getting the money out. So in total, you're losing 15% of your money if you click accept. And since the markup is in percents, now you understand why the ATM is forcing you to get out as much money as possible. Imagine if we would choose to withdraw 800 euros in the beginning, then the markup would be almost 100 euros. Just for getting a money out of ATM, 100 euros? That's insane. And about the fee, you may say that my bank doesn't charge me any fees for getting money out of an ATM. Well, this is not your bank fee. This is this ATM's fee. And also you may have a bank that will charge you a fee. So on top of all of this, you may be charged by your bank. So remember what I said in the beginning of the video, you always wanna decline conversion. Oh, I just saved 13% of my money, wow. <laughs> oh, but it's fair to say that this ATM will still charge me four euros for getting money out of it. Thank you. So in this case, not only I click decline, but I'm also gonna click cancel. Please retap your card or device. Ain't gonna happen. Bye. And these ATMs are all over the place. By the way, to film this montage, we only walk 200 meters. Wanna walk 20 more? Yep, just as I said, these ATMs can be found anywhere in Prague. I've actually created a map and new ones are being added to the city almost weekly. And you can find them in any touristy destination or touristy city in Europe. Uh, there's more to the story about the Euronet ATM. So if you want to know more, you can subscribe to Honest Guide and we'll tell you what it is. Uh, but let's move on with the story to another ATM.
We moved to another ATM, this time a bank ATM, big bank name. And uh, the thing we were talking about with the declining or accepting the conversion is something called DCC, Dynamic Currency Conversion. Uh, in a nutshell, you have your account in some currency and the ATM is giving you a different currency, in this case, check crown. So somebody has to do the conversion and what the ATM is asking you is, should I do the conversion or your bank? So it's always better if your bank, your provider does it. In case of this ATM, you're not gonna be offered accept or decline, but you're gonna be offered withdraw in local currency is the choice you wanna go with because you always wanna go with the local currency even though you have a different currency on your card. Even though we only showed you two ATMs, one bank and one non-bank company, uh, we wanted to teach you the system, how it works. So then you can go to any ATM and know uh, that you should decline or choose pay in local currency or withdraw in local currency. Why is that pay? Because this situation may also occur when you're paying at a shop, a coffee place, a pub. You may tap your card to the terminal and it will ask you, do you wanna pay in US dollars or Czech crowns? Well, you always wanna go with Czech crowns, the local currency. By the way, uh, the way the machines ATMs are programmed is different in every case. In this case, we found out that if you accept their conversion, which is not in your favor, you don't pay a fee for the withdrawal. But if you decline it, if you go with the local currency, this ATM will put 125 crowns on top of it, which is around five euros, as its fee. Always tries to trick you. So the bottom line is you always want to decline or pay in the local currency. Or the easiest to avoid all these tricks is just pay with your card. Me and Honza do it all the time and most of the checks, they rarely go to ATMs to get cash because most of the businesses, coffee places, pubs, stores will accept cards. Whenever we show places on our show, on the Honest Guide, we never mention you can pay with the card because most of the times you can. If we do go to a place where you cannot pay with card, we will usually mention it to warn you. Tourist season is beginning and tourists are coming back to Prague. That's why we're making these videos uh, to warn you and prepare you for your travel. So when you come to Prague, you can enjoy it and spend the money not on ATM fees, but on something better. Something better? You want some tips? Well, that's what the Honest Guide is here for. So you can subscribe and I'll see you next Sunday, next week on another episode of the Honest Guide. And a Czech word at the end is měna, which is currency. Měna is currency. And Honza told me to make this longer because there are all the Patreons supporting us. And I would like to say big thanks to them. So thank you so much. And if you want to support us too, you can head out to patreon.com slash honest guide. Díky. Oh, and when I said the ATM will recognize that I used a foreign card, well, let me show you what happens when I use my check card. Suddenly the amounts offered to withdraw are 10 times lower and they make more sense.